Welcome back, everyone, to our prayer journey with my Toad Daily Devotion. Today's devotion is on Mount Olivet again, in which Jesus is speaking about the signs of the times. In this one, he talks about the moral decay that would come upon the world in the last days. In Matthew 24, 12, and 13, it says, And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that endured to the end shall be saved. Who is Jesus speaking to here? He is speaking to believers. He who waits to the end shall be saved. Does that mean one can lose their salvation? Or does that really mean that those that were not real disciples, the terrors, uh, would not endure? So, there's a moral decay that has taken place in the world, and that moral decay starts with the apostate church. The church of our day is a church that is, unfortunately, morally bankrupt. Now, not the whole church. There are many good churches, but more and more we see churches turning away from God, turning away from the gospel, the good news that treats the sin of the individual and takes away the problems that exist with the sin, to a social gospel which takes care of f uh, physical needs, financial needs. However, it seems like that is unending because they are still dealing with sin. Now, what happens from that is that this sin nature that is being tolerated, and we see it today as criminals are being let out, this expands more and more into society. It is just like a virus. If you don't deal with sin, if you cover sin, it spreads more and more. And unfortunately, it has spread into our churches to such a degree that many churches not only welcome sin in, but actually induce uh, sacraments uh, to allow the sin to be flourishing in their church. They're telling God what sin is, and God is not telling them what sin is. And this out-of-whack nature is destroying the world. And you can see it just looking around. Look at all of the problems we have with crime increasing. Uh, with, uh, you know, a, a, even assisted putting people to sleep uh, when they're young in certain countries. Some things that are really hard to believe. They need to hear what we have. If you are a child of God, and do not get flustered by this, because God told us we need to endure to the end. But what we should do is to start to walk again in the kingdom of God to be the salt and the light to the world, to show them the difference, to show them that dealing with our personal sin is a good thing. The problem is when so-called Christians uh, practice sin, it only infirms what the devil desires to delude individuals on this earth. So here's what we need to do as Christians. We need to remember the power of the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ. Thy kingdom come and thy will be done. His kingdom is coming, and that's what we pray toward as Christians. That kingdom is a spiritual kingdom, however, that is available for us to walk in today. When you're in your word and when you are walking by the Spirit, praying, and doing and acting as a Christian, you are salt and light to the world, and you're walking in the kingdom of God. In a sense, we can take a journey from this world into God's kingdom in a moment's notice. And there we can walk in the power of Almighty God. I'll be doing a series on the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven, shortly, so that we me and everyone else can walk in the kingdom of God, in the light of God, and not be corrupted by this world. So I hope this devotion is good 
in the sense that you take a look at yourself individually and walk in the light. So until next time, may Jesus increase as we decrease.